what's up? Back with another video. It's your boy Dex. And ooh, I finally had a chance to watch Eternals, which was just premiered on Disney Plus. Um, it was like a very two hour long movie. And I kind of see what people were saying when they said that this was not one of their favorite movies. Now, by all means, for me, this movie was not terrible at all. It, it wasn't terrible, but I do see the complaints because it wasn't. There were points where I was like, why do I really care about these characters? And what overall involvement other than them mentioning the Avengers do I find them, you know, capturing me as a viewer and there were times where I was like, eh, I don't know. And it, it just, by all means, the action um, and the sequences that they did, those were pretty dope. They didn't, those were like, um, whatchamacallit, not whatchamacallit, but like those were like very well done as far as Marvel standards though, because Marvel always does well with their action sequences. But as far as like storytelling, plot, it was very, very lore, like lore heavy, and you have. There's some points where you kind of like, oh, where did they come from? Um, like, what is this celestial business and Eternals and the creation of the world and like all the, all that stuff? And it's like, God, we is just kind of like a lot of meta going on. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> okay, like. I kind of, well, not kind of lost, but I understood. But I was like, dude, what is this playing the big picture? That's all I kept thinking in my mind. I was like, what is this playing the overall big picture of MCU phase four, five, whatever, whichever phase we're on this phase? What is this play, overall playing the big picture? Are they going to be fighting a celestial like all the Avengers? Because there are a lot of elements that they're, this phase is introducing. And so it's like, dude. What do they play in? And so we get that whole thing with the Eternals and why they are the way that they are, how they came to be, um, how long they've been here. And one thing that I will say is there's a couple characters that I was kind of like, eh, that were throwing me off. One was Icarus. He just... Icarus just felt like a robot to me, which they did explain at the end of the movie, but Icarus just felt like a robot to me. Um, a lot of the characters just felt kind of monotone, except for except for the deaf character, um, Cersei, Fostos. I like Fostos. Fostos was probably a, a high contender in there for me. He felt like he had death. Um, Gilgamesh and Fina, I couldn't really have cared less about them. They were just, a, they were just there to progress the plot for me. I didn't really care about them. But yeah, this movie definitely, I can see why a lot of people said it was probably one of the worst MCU movies. But I kind of disagree with that. It was. Not the bad, cause the bad, the worst one to me is obviously four two, and right behind that is um, Captain Marvel. If I had to pick a third, if I had to pick a third, it would probably be, I want to say Ant Man or Watch Two. Yeah, I would probably say that because it would be for the Dark World one, Captain Marvel two. Ant-Man and the Wasp 2, or Ant-Man and the Wasp, and then Eternals. So, that aside, I might have to do a tier list, but that aside, the movie was okay. Um, I'm not really sure if y'all should really watch it for the cutscene, because unless you're really into like Marvel lore or Marvel comics, then yeah, you might be able to recognize some of the hints that they give off. The mid credit scene, which hints at them fighting the Celestials and 
there's that. But also the end credit scene is one I'll be like, ah, I have no idea what's going on. And I probably wouldn't have known if I didn't check out you know, like new rock stars or people who are very heavily into that stuff. But other than that, man, I'd give Marvel's Eternals a rating six out of 10. Six to a six and a half out of 10 for me. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Eternals. I know this, I'm seeing this way late while everybody saw it in, in like October or September, really. So let me know what y'all thoughts are about Eternals. If you have similar thoughts or you have way different opinions than I do, let me know in the comments down below. Um, like the video, subscribe if you want to, if nothing that's cool. Um, I appreciate it. Um, thank you for the love, and I'll talk to y'all later.